Okay, Dio, Rainbow in the Dark, the guitar solo, Vivian Campbell. Um, this is part two for uh, some custom tab videos for Mike AC. We left off our last subgroup in this solo was subgroup number 23. So we're going to pick it up from um, subgroup 24. We're actually almost done. So this one's going to be a, a short video here, part two. Pinch harmonics. He used them a lot, part of his style. You'll go 12, 13 on the B. And you know on the on the higher strings, Mike, the pinch harmonics, you, you're probably aware of this, they're a little harder to get. Um, they're just like palm muting, it's harder to do on the skinnier strings than the thicker ones. But you have a... And then 12 on the B pick with a pinch harmonic, hammer 13, pull to 12. Slice into those strings, man. And EM or uh, Seymour Duncan's help too. And then 14G. So that actually should have been a subgroup just to there, but it's a little longer. Um, <laughs> I wish I would have subgrouped that one by itself, but now I'm saying it on the video. Repeat that one, Mike. That'll help you get used to those pinch harmonics that are in there too. And then we have a 12 on the B, no pinch, believe it or not. Then 13B, pinch harmonic, 15B, pinch harmonic, 13B, pinch harmonic. So we have to take it from the 12. And then 12B, pinch harmonic, hammer to 13, pull to 12. So, let's see. Yeah. This is still part of the uh, same group, 24. So I better take it from the start of it. There it ends on 14G for that group. Those last four notes of subgroup 24 is another good little uh, subgroup for you, Mike. Okay, then we have subgroup 25, another series of uh, pick hammer pulls running all the way down the G string from 12-14, uh, ends up uh, over at the open. So pick 12, hammer 14, pull 12. Actually, let me play it for you first. And then... So you'll go... 12, 14, 12, and then same thing, but on 10, 12, 10, pick hammer pull. 9, 10, 9, pick hammer pull. 7, 9, 7, pick hammer pull. 5, 7, 5, pick hammer pull. 4, 5, 4, pick hammer pull. 2, 4, 2, pick hammer pull. And then an open G, and that gets missed a lot too. Understandably, because unless you have the isolated track, man, it's hard to hear the little things. Okay, killer subgroup, man. Cool little run on one string. That sums up riff 25. Riff 26 is where he brings in the natural harmonics um, on the fifth fret B two times. 5th fret high E, back to 5th fret B, 5 G, and then go 7th fret G, pinch harmonic, bend release. So yeah. Ah, okay, I'm gonna sit for a second. So anyways, Mike, if you have any questions, man, because, uh, you know, all respect to Rick Derringer, he's a great player, but you and me both know, you know, the caliber of technicality. I mean, this was the, the start of the 80s shred players, so it's kind of a whole other level and style. Vivian Campbell kind of has a, he was one of my favorites, man, I remember back in the day. But he has one of those styles 
for me personally, when I hear the first couple notes of something, I could tell who it is, and I feel like that with Vivian Campbell, um, particularly back in, you know, these days, you know, this song, this album, and, you know, Last in Line and Holy Diver. It's the same way I felt about George Lynch and Randy Rhodes and Warren Demartini, Dimebag Darrell. I mean, you could tell, you know, after a few notes, um, but. Um, if you have questions, hit me know. Uh, let me know, and I will. Um, you want the the one up to time, and I know how I'm going to handle that one. We don't need a metronome for it. I got a killer idea for how to make that one happen. One last point um, on this, because I watched several live ones with Vivian, and he changed it, man. He he, and that's not uncommon. Um, a lot of the key parts, you know, would be the same, like when it does that. <laughs> kept that the same but the next riff he altered and changed live so this is the studio version of how Vivian did it which I think is beautiful um, so yeah he does change things up and the way I'm gonna do the the real-time one won't be along with Vivian even if Vivian Campbell did it himself it would probably be different um, just because guitar players you know musicians change things up man when you play it and you play it and and uh, we've all do it. I've done it with my band and, and all the pros have done it. So um, you're going to have fun with this. It's going to be a challenge. I can almost uh, guarantee you because it's, it's an advanced rock metal solo. And by the way, you're playing, dude. That classical stuff was killer, Mike. All right, dude. Thank you. Hit me up if you have any questions. And I'm going to get in there and get this stuff uploaded.